Hi guys, I'm Michelle Antoineau, today's guest blogger on Word Nerds. I'm a filmmaker and writer from Charleston, South Carolina, and I struggled a lot with what I was going to talk about today, but I decided to go with something that I think I would have really benefited from seeing three or four years ago. This has been an issue that's kind of plagued me, I guess, since I started writing my first real original manuscript. I wrote a lot of little short stories and stuff when I was a kid, and then I wrote a lot of fan fiction novels in high school, and that's kind of where I found my voice. But I didn't sit down to write a full original manuscript that I intended to get published until I graduated from college in 2013. Throughout this process, I've had a lot of beta readers, uh, like upwards of probably 15. And the most common comment I get about this manuscript and about my writing in general is that it feels like a movie, that it's very cinematic. This isn't very surprising to me because I've been into film since I was probably eight years old. I wanted these stories to be more than just chapter books, more than just something on a page. I wanted them to be in the movie theater and I wanted to be in them. I wanted them to be this full visual cinematic experience because what was more influential to me as a child were people like George Lucas or Steven Spielberg versus somebody like J.K. Rowling or um, Madeline Langle or other writers. And then I kind of set it aside for many years because filmmaking is expensive, it requires a lot of resources, it requires equipment that I didn't have, whereas writing is free and it doesn't cost you anything other than time. When I graduated from college, I didn't have a lot of money or equipment, but I did have a lot of time all of a sudden. And I kept coming back to this comment that I would get from all my beta readers, that it feels like a movie, that it's very cinematic. And I even wrote a blog post um, back when I was doing beta rounds about what does this mean? What, what do people mean when they say that I'm a cinematic writer? Is it because I use present tense and that's more immediate than the literary past tense? Is it because I sort of direct my characters like one would do actors? Is it because I kind of use a scene screenplay structure in my writing? I don't just start on a scene and then go through for you know, 10, 20 pages. My scenes all last about three to four pages a piece and sometimes flip perspectives. I also went to a few different slush readings, a few different critique contests, and another commentary I kept getting is that my narrative wasn't deep enough, that it wasn't with the characters, that it was too visual, that I wasn't using the full sensory experience. That, that cinematic style was kind of crippling me from being a successful novelist. In Pitch Wars, my mentor Michelle Hazen was really supportive of me and she said that she liked that it was a visual novel, that too many people get caught up in just, you know, dwelling on their characters' thoughts for a page and a half long monologue. So for the first time, I had somebody who was in the industry who started to appreciate what I did and what makes my writing kind of unique even though other people seem to think that maybe I should just stick to films. I think the thing that's finally allowed me to accept this style is not just getting into pitch wars, although that definitely helped, um, but I also got back into film itself. I completed my first real short film last year, Devil's Advocate, which has since gone on to get into at least one film festival. I think being both a filmmaker and novelist is one of my unique selling points. It's something that I can leverage to be kind of different. And I know that there are people out there who are like me, who think this way, who write this way, and who want to read books that are written this way. I know I do. Do what makes you happy. Tell the sort of stories that you want to tell and whatever medium you feel like telling them. And if it's a good story, it's not gonna matter what medium you choose. And like I said, I kind of wish that I had somebody to tell me that, you know, three or four years ago it probably would have saved me a lot of self-doubt, a lot of needless revision, a lot of tearing my hair out over something that I can't help because it's me. So if you want to learn more about me, you can hit me up on Twitter at Lady Tuano. I also run a YouTube series called Pareto Plots, which I started this year with my fiance Austin. He's a quality professional and I'm a writer, so we use Pareto principles and other root cause analysis to figure out major problems in films and how we would improve them. And you can also see other um, weirdness and uh, self-doubt and musings on my blog Etherhouse and all of that is uh, in the description below. 
Thank you so much to WordNerds for hosting me this week, especially Megan specifically for inviting me from our Pitch Wars family. And if you want more videos like this one, please subscribe to their channel and join 5,000 other people who are just like you and looking for writing advice and um, interesting tidbits about reading and that kind of thing. Thank you so much for watching and good luck on your journey, whatever it may be.